Man, your backyard looks so different without the uh, <laughs> without the pit dug in with all the sand in it. So we're back here in a familiar setting. If you watched the liquid sand pool video, hey, if not, I'll link it down below. Shameless plug. This is Nick Uhas. We're gonna do dude? another sciency experiment sort of thing today, which you were actually meant to do at VidCon, right? I don't want to like you know basically say. Um, Anything against, you know, VidCon, I had a really good time there, but the show that actually went down was a lot different than what it was supposed to be. So I ended up with 30 liters of liquid nitrogen left over, so I could not just waste 30 no, liters. not at all. There's a lot of really cool, fun things you can do with it, and so today, we're gonna be doing the liquid nitrogen super cloud experiment. Is that the official trademark name for what we're doing? It's actually what I gave it. Liquid Nitrogen Supercloud does sound like a good video title, so that might be what this is called. So we got our 30 liters of liquid nitrogen down here and buckets that we're gonna do the Supercloud thing in. So give me the breakdown on how this whole thing works. Okay, so here's how this whole thing works. First step is you have to boil about two to three gallons of water. So we actually have that over here. This is our hot plate setup. Um, these right here, you can get these at Target, they're awesome. They're these electric hot plates, they do the job very well. Hashtag not sponsored by Target. <laughs> yeah, you can get these at your local department store for whatever price you want. What happens is this, you boil that hot water, right? That's step number one. Step number two is, is we get our, our safety gear on. We're gonna have blast shields on our face, we're gonna have lab coats to cover our skin, and we're gonna have thermal gloves so we don't burn our hands, both cold and hot, because we're gonna be dealing with boiling hot water and also liquid nitrogen, which is negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a high frostbite sort of danger there. So basically, if you do find yourself with 30 liters of liquid nitrogen, uh, be safe don't do things that are dangerous without the proper safety gear. Don't, don't drink it. <laughs> don't drink it. <laughs> Is that something that someone's done? They have, like, there are scientists out there not naming names, but they throw it in their face. It's a really interesting phenomenon. <laughs> the body is so hot that it actually creates a thin layer right outside of it so that the liquid nitrogen actually never touches your skin. But I just don't recommend it. I just don't, just don't. You just don't do throw liquid nitrogen in your face. Just don't do it. The next step is this, and we're gonna do this out, not in my garage, in the Nickpedia lab. We're gonna fill up one of these trash cans with 10 liters of liquid nitrogen. Then, as our water is now boiling, we're gonna put it into the bucket of science. That is a super sciencey looking bucket. <laughs> it's been on AGT. This is a famous bucket, by the oh, way. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, can that. I have its autograph? Yeah, yes. you sure can. So then what you do is then with a good firm stance, you're gonna wanna get all of that water into the bucket, but not on your hands and not in your face. And then hence you will have the liquid nitrogen super club. So in summary, 10 liters of liquid nitrogen in bucket, throw boiling water on, and it makes a big, Kaboom. Ooh. The cloud itself, though, is like fairly similar to the temperature of the air, so that's not gonna hurt that's you, right? That's correct. So here's like the science behind this. You guys have probably seen that video online where someone takes boiling hot water and they throw it into the really cold Arctic air. So we have very cold liquid nitrogen, which is at negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. We have boiling hot water, which is around, it's 212 is what boiling hot is. By the time that we actually have it, it's around 200 or so. When those come into contact, the water vaporizes instantly creating a big cloud, and then the pressure builds inside of this container and it shoots straight up. This is compelling content. Lift with your legs. Perfect, oh. perfect form. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh wow, how do you, that was, wow. Personal record. Last time we were playing fetch and you you didn't want to you didn't want to give me the stick back. No. Now I'm just not even interested in me. What happened? We were such good friends last time. Where's the love? You're just like get this camera out of my face. I'm sleeping. It's Saturday. Union rolls. Jordan, it is time to get suited up. Now I know you're pretty thicky, thick, thick guy. So um, 
that doesn't sound like a compliment. Look at those guns! You look 10 pounds heavier on camera. But it's it's actually interesting, super side note. At my gym, I'll sometimes see like an actor who I recognize from TV. They always, they're so thin, they're so twiggy. And then, but when you see them on camera, on film, like they look normally proportioned. The camera really does add 10 pounds. Then you look at me and I just look big. But in person, I think I look like more normal. So, I vouch that's that. all I'm trying to say. That's well, all I'm trying to say. I had the great uh, pleasure, not sure. <laughs> I saw him shirtless, guy. <laughs> the liquid sand pit got messy and I had to get sand off. And of let myself. me tell you, Jordan is jacked. Jacked. Good. You All right. Legit. You honestly look like a coal miner. Dude, I'm ready. We back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. That's a reference that it's just, don't worry about it. Now we bring these outside and put the liquid nitrogen in, right? And we do what we're gonna do. That's it, man. Nitrogen goes in the bucket, boiling water shortly after, and then woo! Also, don't I look stunning? Of course I do. Here, take the camera. Okay. And count down. And in three, two, one, do it. Woo! <laughs> wow. You're still smoking, dude. Look at you. <laughs> Look at the bucket. It's still going. Did it like, I don't know, did it go high up at all? I couldn't really see. The wind kind of took it. Okay. So it kind of turned it on its side, but you definitely, I mean, you are just covered in the thing. Like. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens now when we both go at the same time. It'll be interesting to say the least. Hopefully I didn't fail too much on try number one, but now we have the second go, the, the double barrel. The We're double barrel. You'll pour yours, same time as I'm pouring mine. Right. The liquid nitrogen. We'll put those off to the side. We'll have our boiling hot water right here, already in place. And then we'll both do it from each side. And then we'll hopefully not throw boiling hot water on each other. Yeah, that would be ideal. Maybe we should do so like we'll try not this. to kill anyone. Yeah, that's what we should do. What's that? So we're not actually going towards each other. You mean you don't want to splash water towards each other? <laughs> we, should, we should do this. Okay. Anything to note while doing this is I have never poured liquid nitrogen before. <laughs> all right, I've got my time. All right, I think it's all in there. All right, let's do it, man. All right. Picking it up. All right, and in three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Can't see a thing. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> wow! Dude, that was big. That was amazing. Bro, high five on that. That was Whew. so good. You nailed it. We're good stuff. In it. Did okay. some of it splash over to here? Because I saw some fog over here, some stuff way up in the sky. Oh my god. Dude, that was so good. Whew. Another high five, bro. Killed it! Liquid nitrogen super fire is still going. Still making I mean, I, I definitely took what felt like a nice breath of water vapor and nitrogen in there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty full coverage. That was awesome. How would you rate your liquid nitrogen double barrel super cloud experience? Uh, 11 out of 10, I think, without a doubt. Nice. So far, no disappointment upon coming here. It's been pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. In case you're wondering the aftermath, it's basically just ice and the water we threw in. So I guess what went up into the air was a lot of water vapor and a lot of nitrogen, basically. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely, Jordan. I appreciate it. Anytime. That was fantastic. If you want to check out Nick's channel, where he does a lot more science-y stuff, because uh, I'm not always brought along, you can find it in the description. <laughs> and um, hey, hopefully we'll be able to do another thing in the future. Yeah, man. Be We're awesome. always doing some fun science-y stuff in the Nickipedia lab.
All right, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you later.